Hello everyone and welcome back to That Adventure Life. Today we have another beautiful San Diego hike for you. It is Cow's Mountain Trails. Um, and oh yeah, we have a guest today. This is my sister, Vivian. Uh, she's gonna be doing a hike with us. We, me and my sister actually done this hike a few times before, like years ago, maybe 10 years ago. Holy shit, that's a long time ago. Um, I've never done it. Yeah, he hasn't done it, so we're taking him. It looked completely different from what we remember, so it's going to be fun. Um, it is very short. It's maybe road trip about two and a half, three miles, but you have a lot of LA Russian gang, so there are a lot of switchbacks. Uh, so just take your time. Uh, we definitely will take our time. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, and it's it's one of the very very popular hikes in San Diego. We're here on a Wednesday um, morning, and the parking lot and you know all the side streets are hack like yeah, tons of people. I'm definitely so, shocked on that. That's for sure. Yeah. So if you're planning to do this one, come early. Okay. All right. You ready to go? Yep. And bring water. Bring water. <laughs> As V mentioned before, this trail is pretty short. It's three miles round trip, but it has a very impressive 912 feet of elevation gain. Not only is this trail popular for hikers and trail runners, but it's also popular with our four-legged friends too, like our buddy Finley here. This little guy was such a ham. He looked like he was having a great time and he was definitely soaking up all of the attention. If you plan on bringing your four-legged friend, please be sure to bring plenty of water for them. All that elevation gain is going to get them really thirsty. And I think it should go without saying, but please be sure to keep your little buddy on a leash and clean up after them. The trail starts off nice and smooth, but don't let that lull you into a false sense of security because there are some rocky sections coming up in the not too distant future. If you're looking for a quick fitness hike, this is a great trail for you because it takes an average of one hour and 49 minutes to complete. But if you know us, you know that's not quite our speed. Between taking our time on the way up, spending a nice amount of time up at the summit, and taking a ton of pictures along the way, it took us three hours and 14 minutes. It hasn't rained out here in about a week, but as you can see in the video, it's still a little bit on the muddy side. And when you mix that with the rocks, it can get a little bit slippery. So make sure to bring good shoes. I'm not wearing good shoes right now and I'm kind of regretting my decisions, but uh, yeah, we'll make it do. We'll make it. Like what? We'll make it. The dirt out here is almost like a clay and when it gets wet, it is really slippery. As you saw on the sign just a second ago, we are now just past the quarter mile mark. Things are getting a lot more rocky. But the good thing is that if you somehow injure yourself along the trail, there are these emergency markers where you can tell the responders to come and get you. Since it's only a mile and a half to the top of the mountain, it's not gonna be very long until you get your first looks at the final climb to the top. The grand finale is this bunch of switchbacks that you can see right here. But before we got to that, we still had quite a few rocks and steps to climb over. As we climbed higher and higher, we came across a couple cool little photo ops. One of which was this easily climbable boulder right here. Not only is this a nice spot for a picture, but it's one of the first chances you'll get to look out over Lake Murray as well. It's always a good idea to hit the trail with your friends because you never know when you might need a little bit of a helpful push up the hill. Another great feature about Cal's Mountain is that it is a fairly simple to follow trail. There's no shortage of signage along the way and Finley didn't seem to be having a hard time keeping track of which way to go. And the only fork along the climb comes at the one mile mark. For the most part, I think this trail is Pretty dang simple to follow. There is one junction here. As you can see, if you take the right, you're gonna go on the Barker Way Trail. It's just another trailhead. So you can start from there and then connect it up this way. It's longer. It's additional, as you see, 1.1 miles. 
So if you want, you know, that extra workout, you can go this way. So it's just another drill head for someone a little bit more ambitious than we are. <laughs> but ambitious wouldn't be the word I'd pick today. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, so you don't have to worry about getting lost. Just keep going straight on your way. The nice thing is that you also have the option to turn this hike into a lollipop loop. You can take the main trail up and the Barker Way Trail on the way back down, or vice versa. There is a whole network of trails out here, so even if you came out for just a short hike, if you don't feel like you've gone far enough, you can stretch it out for almost as long as you like. We are now on to the final climb. Once you hit that last set of switchbacks, you'll have about half a mile left with 250 feet of elevation still to gain. The good thing is that the views will be getting better and better as you climb. If you visit on a clear day, you should be able to see downtown San Diego, North County, Orange County, and even Mexico. As you make your way up this last climb, be sure to stay on the main trail and don't try to take shortcuts up the switchbacks. These shortcuts will cause a lot of erosion to the mountain and V was already shocked with how much erosion had taken place since she'd last been here. And here we are arriving at the top of Cowles Mountain. As we said before, the views from up here are really nice and this is a great spot to have a picnic if you want to bring lunch with you. Up at the top, you'll find several signs that show you some of the mountain ranges that you can see off in the distance. Unfortunately, a lot of idiots have graffitied on them. And you'll also find this sign that will give you a small insight to how Cowles Mountain got its name. This is the tallest mountain in the San Diego city limits, so of course, that's where the good views come from. That is why it made a great home for the radio tower that you'll find up here. And if curiosity has you wanting to go see that radio tower, you can take this small trail to go get a look out over it. And if you're a Top Gun fan, the other great thing about coming up here is you can get a view of Miramar, which is where they sent Maverick. At the time of our visit, there were also several gravity-defying rocks, which were kind of cool to see. After savoring the breeze and the sweet views for a little bit, we decided that it was time to head back. We weren't going to be doing the lollipop loop trail this day, we were just going to take the main trail all the way back to the car. Once again, V was cursing her shoe choices, because if you thought it was slippery on the way up, it is extra slippery on the way back down. If you are from the San Diego area or you plan on traveling there and you're looking for some awesome hikes to do, click on the upper corner right now to watch our video about hiking at the Torrey Pine State Reserve. There are many different trails there for all skill levels and the entire time you get to look out over the ocean. And if you're really wanting to challenge yourself, click in the upper corner right now to watch our video about hiking to Potato Chip Rock. That hike is quite a bit more challenging, but it is well worth the effort. All in all, this is a great little workout trail and its centralized location makes it great for San Diego residents so they can get out there in the morning, get in a nice little hike, and then head off to do whatever they need to do for the rest of the day. Luckily for us, with the exception of a couple of trips over rocks and slips in the mud, the way down was fairly easy and uneventful. And that is going to do it for Cowell Mountain. It was and you like it? Yeah. Yeah, she like it. So that doesn't prefer Iron Mountain. Yeah. So the, if you want to see that one, you know what to do. Is it is it this corner or that corner? Or this corner. That corner. Yeah. Click in the corner right there to watch that one. I mean, if on this one, I think if you're looking for nature, serenity, and uh, some alone time, not not the one, not the one that you're looking for. But if you want some really nice views and pretty good workout. This uh, Cal's Mountain is probably a good uh, good way to go with it. It's very busy, very busy. Yeah. So, and then you get the you know the traffic sounds and everything like that. So it's not it's 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 beautiful and I like it and it's a good workout. But if you want some nature, this is not it. Yeah. And the other thing is, there's a lot of as you can see a lot of steps along the way. 
So if you've got any problem, sort of uh, knee problems or whatever, my, I, I know my right knee was feeling a little bit on the way back down. You know, it just takes a toll on you a little bit, but I mean, it's not that bad and it's pretty short. So we recommend doing it if you're in the area for sure, hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah. With Until the, yeah, we're, next time, yeah. we got to hit the like and subscribe. Yeah. Hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later.